hi guys and welcome to another episode of um, sports on your platform for zan sports and um in this episode i'm going to um preview the newcastle united chelsea game week 10 um premier league encounter at the st james's park and um it sounds refreshing that um, the two teams are playing uh, for the first time after the eventual takeover of the Saudi Public Investment Fund, Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund, PIF. And um, ever since uh, that has occurred, Newcastle United um, have been celebrating off the field and are yet to transform their form on the field by beating teams and getting the three points and losing their first game to Tottenham Hotspur by two goals to three at home. And then drawing 1-1 one -one to Crystal Palace. This is their third game after the Saudi takeover. And Amanda Stevelli is still waiting for a first win, which I think may possibly be delayed again by another week, uh, hopefully. And um, if it happens to be your first time of joining me on this platform, please do well to hit the subscribe button, touch the notification bell, share the program to as many viewers as possible, smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation, agree or disagree with me in the comment box down below, and then... Um, uh do make sure you contribute with respect to how you feel about the presentation and um it's an interesting game as um you may be aware and um the boost for newcastle is that um in the state as they, they are in the the south pif port uh, newcastle and they are yet to be given to face their first transfer window probably in january they may make some additions um which is highly likely some additions because with their current squad um they are destined to go down uh, if they maintain without making some few additions. Um, they may do the West Ham model as in some time back when West Ham were, were down. Uh, they poach uh, Carlos Tevez and um, uh, some Argentine players which boosted their chances of survival and um, they stayed in the league. And um, hopefully Newcastle will also adopt that strategy to stay in the league. Thomas Tuchel um, has succeeded in making uh, Chelsea players to play well. Even players who were not doing well uh, before during Frank Lampard's era and others who have found themselves near the exit door, the likes of um, uh, Antonio Rudiger and Marcus Alonso have started to fire, uh, to be firing once, uh, as firing once again. And uh, it's refreshing to be associated with it, Chelsea at this time. And it's no surprise that um, goals have been shared across 17 or more players of Chelsea this season as the responsibility of goal scoring is not rested on our strikers. But be that as it may, as the Thomas Tuchel said in his uh, pre-match uh, uh, media engagement or press conference, the strikers sooner or later should have to start firing because their responsibility is to score goals and not the responsibility of defenders and midfielders. I'm concerned as well, but um, I'm equally happy that all the other players are getting the goals, to, are chipping in the goals. The likes of um, Ben Chilwell, Mason Mount um, uh, are helping in the goal score. In any way, Mason Mount is part of the forward, and so his is not surprised at all. Um, this uh, title race is becoming, is fast becoming a three-horse race. Yeah, it's fast becoming a three-horse race. Um, Chelsea, um, City, uh, Chelsea, Liverpool, City. Yeah, and so it's fast becoming uh, three horse ways. But if we're judging from the way Manchester United is behaving, I don't think as of now they are genuine and serious title contenders. Um, Chelsea uh, will um, continue to not remove their uh, gas um, off the, will not should continue not to remove their legs off the gas pedal as of now because um, other title contenders are winning and firing from all cylinders. And, um, let me look at my probable lineup for the game. Edward Mendy, I would expect Edward Mendy to be in post. Um, Reese James there, uh, Trevor Chaloba in there, uh, Silva, Thiago, Rudiger coming back. Uh, we both, both, both of them, Silva, Rudiger, Aspil Equator, uh, missed in the um, Carabao Cup defeat of Southampton. And uh, they expect um, two of them to come back, Silva. Uh, Rudiger, uh, chill, uh, chill well because I expect Asfil Kweta to start from the bench. Just, he just recovered from a shoulder injury. Chilwell, Kante, uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Mount, uh, Hatsin Odoi and Kai Havers, Timo Werner and Romelu Lukaku are still out of contention because they are nursing their injury. And um, I, see, I, I see a 3 0 win for Chelsea. Havers and um, Mason Mount, Kalum Nosin Odoi. Surprise goal scorer will be Trevor shallow bar there and um chelsea has uh, recently in all competition across all competitions won five games on the bounce and uh, newcastle's 
form is a loose draw draw loose loose draw and so coming into this game they are still chasing their first win of the campaign and um, i think it should still delay till next season and the temporary coach of graham jones um uh, will still have to wait for his um uh, win next week as um, it may it will be difficult to um have a win against this informed chelsea side and um when you look at the statistics um chelsea is the best defensive team so far and um so scoring against them will be difficult and hence that's why i'm going for a three nil clean sheet for edward mendy once again and then so many fixtures across uh, the weekend um, as i will uh, probably uh, review the game week 10 on my um um tiktok uh, platform there i will do that uh, we have interesting games there uh, manchester city shouldn't have problem dispatching crystal palace but liverpool and brighton and hovey albion is a big game and we will be even be difficult than the manchester united game liverpool uh, defeated manchester united will have without breaking a sweat <laughs> and, and i don't expect them to um do so the same fashion against um brighton and hovey albion i expect them to sweat for this win and um Chelsea, uh, hopefully, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do well to hit the subscribe button, touch the notification bell, share the program to as many viewers as possible, smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation, agree or disagree with me in the comment box down below. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for um, spending this golden opportunity to um, be with me on this um, platform. And um, refreshingly, uh, the players, some of the players are coming back. Um, Loftus, Ruby Loftus cheek and Kovacic is also out uh, injured there. He picked a hamstring there. As you know, the games are piling up, and um, uh, Christian Pulisic injury is also a concern. Yeah, it's also a concern. And um, regarding Christian Pulisic, I don't really blame him. I blame our scout for buying an injury prone player. When you look at the likes of Sadio Mani, Mohamed Salah, uh, Bernardo Silva, uh, Raheem Sterling, and those guys that we are competing with, they hardly miss games. And um, we are having a, a, one of the best players uh, which is in Jiripon. and so next time they should get a player who will be firing i remember the time of pedro and william and diego costa all of them almost every week are fit to play and that is what we want to return to and not having injured injured players on the bench Romelu uh, lukaku and timo Werner are not um, injury prone and so they will come back after the international break that is different case all, all, all together but in the case of christine pulisic he's been out for so long and so if a player becomes uh, out, remains on the sidelines for so many weeks, then it means that player is probably an injury prone or becoming one. Thank you very much for spending your golden opportunity to be with me on this um, analysis. Cheers. I love you wherever you are. Bye-bye. <music>